How do we start a speech? Well, you've got this really important message that you want to give to an audience. And you don't know how to begin. You don't know how to do your introduction. Well, I'm here to help you with that today. Now, what a lot of people don't realize is that the introduction is one of the most important parts of your speech. And I know, I know, the introduction, the body, and the conclusion, they're all so important because the body has the main content that you're going to give to the people. And the conclusion is what the people are going to get from your speech. But why is the introduction the most important? Well, because the rest of the speech, or how your hearers receive it, that all lies on how you do your introduction. Now, if you're boring in your introduction and you show that you don't, you're not confident, you're showing a lack of confidence or you're apologizing, you're floundering on stage, you're, you're, everything is just going wrong, then people are going to start doubting whether you really know what you're talking about. And that's the worst nightmare for a speaker. People should not doubt. People should trust you. People should trust you enough to lend you their ears. That's basically what you want to do in your introduction. You want to show people that I know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to tell you something that will help you in your life or something that is worth listening to. I want your attention right now. This is my time to shine. I am a speaker and I want you people to listen and to benefit from what I am about to say. That's what you want to show people inside your introduction. Now, exactly how do you do it? This is how I like to teach people public speaking. I always encourage people to do the rest of your speech first and not worry about the introduction at the very beginning. Don't worry about it too much because the introduction needs special attention. You need to add extra effort. In fact, the great late author Dale Carnegie actually said it is actually advisable to memorize your introduction. What do I mean by memorizing? I mean memorizing it word for word, but making sure it sounds natural. I mean, in your, in your speech, and we will talk about speech memorization later on, you will see that you won't exactly say your speech word to word. You just need to know the root or the core of your message so that it sounds natural. It sounds like a conversation. But when it comes to the introduction, this one needs special attention because you want to make sure that the audience is ready to receive your message. If you mess up in the introduction, some people might not even pay attention to the rest of your speech, no matter how valid your points are in the rest of your presentation. Your introduction basically gives a preview of what you're about to talk about. That's why the introduction is so important. You're basically showing the audience that I need you guys to listen. I need your attention right now because the message I'm about to give you, it's going to help you. It's going to benefit you, whether it'll make them laugh, whether it'll entertain them, whether it'll convince them, whether it'll inform them. That's what you want to show them in the introduction. Now, the best tip for having a good introduction is that you need to make it interesting. And that sounds like a cliche tip, but bear with me a bit. You need to have a startling introduction. You need to startle your audience. And it needs to be different. And how can you do this? Well, you can ask them a rhetoric question. You can ask them a question that'll make them think. You can give them a command. You can tell them, imagine yourself in this situation. What something like that what else can you do you can use a prop now this is something that a lot of people don't know but in public speaking you can make use of objects you can make use of any object and when you use an object in your introduction or in any part of your speech it will make it very interesting it will draw the attention you need to have an attention grabber so the audiences they're they're all coming from their busy lives some of them might have been studying and now they're coming to listen to you some of them might have been working you need to show them that your attention was elsewhere before you came to this speech, but now I need your attention on me right now. I need to get your attention right now. And that's what you want to show them. So grab the attention. Use an attention grabber. You can use an object. You can say a shocking or startling statement. And these are not hard to find. We will go more in depth with those inside my public speaking course. But you can use a shocking statistic or a startling fact and that'll make that'll shock them and it'll make them listen to you and say, what is this person going on about? What exactly do they want to prove to me today? And those are just a few ways. There are a lot more ways that you can make your introduction interesting, but you need to make sure you've got an attention grabber. You need to make sure you grab the audience's attention. What you say at the start should effectively sum up what you're about to get into. And it should grab the audience's attention efficiently.